family this is Sammy Lega here representing Team JVS for a news announcement as the title reads Doom Patrol is coming back so Doom Patrol initially premiered was it 2018 or 2019 on the DC Universe application and the first season was effectively a hit like it was insane it was raw it was uncut it was hilarious and it knew it knew what it really wanted to be. Like it came straight from the source material. And honestly, I would say between that and the Harley Quinn show, those are two of the best original created DC properties that DC Universe has come out with. Or in, honestly, in general, like between like what they've done with CW stuff, what they've done with animated stuff, animated TV shows, animated movies, those two properties are effectively amazing. So the big announcement is this, come June the 25th, it will be releasing on DC Universe. I'll go ahead and give that announcement, but this is the big thing. It's releasing not just on DC Universe, but it'll be releasing on HBO Max. HBO Max is going to be debuting on May the 27th, and I think that the second wave of content that's coming out is going to be Doom Patrol Season 2 as well, which is really interesting. That means that simultaneously... It's going to be releasing at the same that time. As far as the, um, the message on the Twitter page, it's got Here Comes Doom, Doom Patrol Season 2 coming to HBO Max on June the 25th. It's time to get strange. Because the entire first season of Doom Patrol on, uh, first season of Doom Patrol will be starting on May 27th on HBO Max as well. But this is what the production reads from the press release from Disney Universe. Disney Universe today announced that the second season of the hit series uh, Doom Patrol is set to premiere digital service on Thursday, June 25th. Following the feat of Mr. Nobody, Alan Tudyk of course, uh, the members of the Doom Patrol find themselves shrunken and stranded in Cliff's toy race car track. Here <clears throat> they begin to deal with their feelings of betrayal by Niles Calder AKA the Chief, Hot Fuzz, of course, where one of the things he's from, while confronting their own personal baggage. As each member faces the challenge of growing beyond their own past traumatic experiences, they must come together to embrace and protect the newest member of the family, Dorothy Spinner, uh, played by Abigail Shapiro. Um, I think she was on Broadway Kids Against Bullying. I have a voice. Niles' daughter, whose powers remain a, who remain a mysterious but real threat to bring in to the world. That's crazy. Now, if I don't, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you haven't seen the first season, you'll get an inkling of what you know how the daughter was conceived and where she kind of comes from. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. I would definitely highly recommend you go and check out that as soon as you can. Um, but in general, for HBO Max and for DC Universe, this is really good because I believe that, um, thanks to Lucas Moore, he reported something to me that uh, I think it's up 35%. Um, their digital collection on DC Universe has actually been up, which is really good incentives. Congratulations for Disney. I'm sorry, not Disney. Uh, for DC Universe for their accomplishments with that. Because, um, I mean, honestly, within this pandemic, like, what are you going to do but read? Like, read comic books, catch up on stuff. Like, you have a lot more time to... Expend that. Then, in addition to that, you also got Stargirl that's about to start up um, very soon. And then the day after that, it's going to be also debuting on the CW. Which is crazy because if you don't know down the pipeline, um, HBO Max has a lot of things planned. They've got their own Just the Dark series that they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing the Green Lantern series. I believe the Stargirl might be up there, but I, I can't remember if that's going to be... I wouldn't imagine them putting it on CW, HBO Max, and uh, DC Universe, but they might. I'm not really sure, so I'm not going to thwart that one way or another. But what I am happy to say is that Swamp Thing 
is coming to the CW network. I think that uh, Lucas Moore had did said to me that he thinks that this is a perfect replacement to Supernatural. If you've never seen Swamp Thing, you owe it to yourself to go and check it out. As soon as it debuts on um, the CW network, please just look at it all the way straight through. Like everybody, come in and throws. It's amazing. Like it is one. I, I cannot believe that this does not have a second season. And I'm hoping that if they get enough buzz behind it, that it'll eventually get a, uh, a second season. Now, is it going to be, you know, less rated R? One of the things about this is, yes, it's very gory. Yes, it's very violent. But so is Supernatural. So I think that there's some leniency there because it's not like a lot of like sexual scenes or nudity or anything like that. But it does get very on the horror side, very violent and very worrisome with some of the things that happen as far as magic and uh, mysticism. So I don't know if the CW is willing to go down that route, but at the same time, I have seen the originals, and originals does go there. Uh, Supernatural has gone there as well, and I think that even with like shows like on Freeform, like Cloak and Dagger, they've kind of gone down those, those roads as well. So it, it, I think that there is room to make this work just as long as you keep the same as that cast. So definitely giving them uh, all the praise that they're able to kind of keep that moving forward. But we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. But I just want to get you guys that news break. I think it's really important because Doom Patrol is epic. And you got to go and check it out on HBO Max or on DC Universe or both. I know for me, I am definitely going to be <laughs> looking at all the things uh, HBO Max for sure because they did make a deal also with Crunchyroll. If you don't know, they have BBC, um, they've got, um, man, I think they got Oxygen, they've got Nickelodeon, I believe, of course they got Crunchyroll, and of course, you know, all the Warner Brothers movies in between, of course, with HBO, and then I think uh, Adult Swim, Cartoon Network. And, I mean, then the DC Universe stuff. So, it's, it's a lot rolling into it. And they're going to be putting original content up. And uh, I can't wait for it. And you guys know that we're going to be reporting it every step of the way. So, let me know in your comment section below. Are you excited for Doom Patrol Season 2? As well as, what are your thoughts on HBO Max? Are you getting it? Are you going to be... Have you already pre-ordered it? And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep it locked. JBS, we ain't going to stop. Peace, guys. Make sure you subscribe.